Well, people ask me a lot, what am I using up here to monitor my system since iStat menu don't work? And I've come across a system pro monitor that just absolutely kills iStat menu. I'm sorry. I have mine set up to look like this, but you can configure it to be one of a million different ways. And what I like about it is it shows you the top three apps being used right now. Okay, and as you can see, ScreenFlow is my number one process because it's using the most CPU. And if you click on it, it'll tell you ScreenFlow. Now it's Finder using 0.19. See, it goes back and forth. It tells you exactly how much. This is a really nice. I have CPU, CPU temperature, RAM, GPU, how much the GPU is being used, how much virtual RAM is being used, and how many frames per second I'm getting, as well as my network connection. Really great. And if you open the preferences of at monitor is the name of the application right here. A-T-M-O-N-I-T-O-R. You open system preferences and you have a lot more customization. Okay, we have themes, which you can go with developer themes. See, here's the menu bar. If you look up here, I can change this from pro to text. And now I'm just getting the percentage instead of the graphs. Okay, I can change it to compact, which cuts it down even more just gives me these small graphs and doesn't give me a percentage or a history graph the pro lays that out um, with the graph and the percentage the single bar graph and the numbers um, developer goes black like like you're used to and it gives you out a history okay here's the history graph sort of um, I usually keep it on text or Pro, okay. It's really usually I keep it on Pro, um, and you can change the the uh, text color. As you can see, I can make the text color blue, okay. You can make the text color yellow. I can make it any color that I just so desire. It's really completely up to me or up to you, whatever color you want to make the text is, you know, perfectly all right with me. I mean, I don't have a problem with anything you want it to be, but. You'll notice that some colors are easier to see than others. Green being one of the most visible, yellow being one of the most visible, and of course black. Okay? Um, you can change the accent, the divider line color, the background color. Like if you want to go with the developer and you want to change the background to purple, you can change the background to purple. You can change it to just about any color that you want. Change it to white. You can see we can make it transparent. Now it's completely transparent, just like the menu bar, and we're getting our history graph and our pro developer. It just the, the, the customization of it is really limitless. Now that's not all. You can customize this here, this floating window here, which you don't have to use. I've customized mine the way I like it. I like light green in the background with dark green up front so I can see the little splotches here. You can see it going up and down here. Um, this is under the floating window, and you can have a change all the colors and down here you can see top you can change the colors of just this one you can change the colors of just the CPU the CPU temperature the RAM the GPU the GPU temperature the virtual RAM the frames per second the disk usage the internet usage you can change the specific colors of all the graphs individually and you can even change the background here um, as you can see to uh, floating window background I've got mine set to black but you can make it white you can make it blue gray whatever fits your fancy I just usually keep mine solid black okay and you can change the text color you can change the gosh um, let's see here let's change the accent and that gives it kind of a little bit of a, now you can see we're getting a little bit of a glow to our letters and I kind of like that you know and if you like the yellow a yellow glow or a purple glow but I'm kind of I kind of like the bluish glow Okay, but it's up to you. However, you guys want to uh, set it up. I mean, it's it's up to you. It's really personal preference, nothing more. But just to let you know that it is got some really highly customizable stuff. And then even over here under Activity Viewer, you can change the text size, the text options, the borders, and you can make whether. Let's go to our menu bar tab here, and you can see my CPU. I can uncheck it if I don't want that to be visible up top. I can actively show and unshow every single thing. I can make it a history graph. I can make it just a bar graph. Um, this GPU temp. I usually don't keep the GPU temperature on there. Um, usually just how much I'm using the GPU. But you can see you can change it to a bar. Or you can change it to history. 
split or combine you all can mess with all this and um, it is a really really thorough system monitor and I recommend anybody absolutely anybody getting it and using it over iStat menus um, just don't get it and think wow it's kind of black up here in my menu bar you don't have to stick with the developer theme you can go like I say you can go with the um, Let's go back here to our floating window. I'm going to make that black again. Like that. Now I'm using the developer. Now don't forget you can use the pro or the text or the compact. Um, it's really up to you. Here's the pro. Again, as you can see, it's just bars now. And I kind of like the pro a lot. Um, because it gives you not only a, a number, but it gives you a bar graph too. And the compact just gives you the bar graph. So really, you know, it just depends on what you like, how you like it, and I'm going to leave mine on Pro. So um, for now, I switch back and forth. It just depends. If I'm using an application that has a big file menu up top and it runs over, then I'll come in here and I'll switch this to compact so it takes up far less room. But for the most part, when I'm not running apps that take this whole menu bar up, like, you know, like... Uh, a few of my 3D apps have menu options all the way across and it'll run over into this and if that's the case I'll use compact but for the most part I'll use developer and I'll change the background opacity to completely op opacity to completely clear like that or I'll use just the pro version so there you go there is a wonderful system monitor for Mac OS 10 that works under Snow Leopard and uh, I'm not using iStat menu no more. This is just too customizable. It tells me my GPU temperature, my frames per second, how much my GPU is being used, my CPU temperature, the, the top three apps. I mean, it's just wonderful for Snow Leopard because of the GPU and stuff. So um, this is my new uh, system profiler. If you see it up top, that's what I've got. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, AT monitor. Check this out. It's even got a little graph underneath the uh, application of what's being used the most. I'm encoding with ScreenFlow. As you can see, 72% CPU being used, and the little graph under screen flow is pegged. You see, so that's really, really neat and attention to detail. I like that. Thanks for watching.